In this tutorial, we're going to talk about pier and pile design in Visual Foundation. I have an example project here where I have an 8-foot square foundation supported by four wood piles and it carries a single pier load in the middle of the foundation. The piles are 10 feet long, the pier is 4 foot high and 12 inches square. If we look over at the project status, we have some problems with the pile and pier checks. So let's switch to the foundation design view and look at those problems. In the foundation design view, we see we have the pier shown as red, as well as two of the four piles shown as red. Looking down at the legend, we see that unity values are shown from blue to green, or zero to one, and anything red is shown as failed, and, and we're seeing that over in the status as well. Let's start with the pier and look at seeing if we can fix the problem. When I select the pier in the design view, over in the modify tab, tab we can look at the currently used specification, ACI 318.14. It's not high seismic, we're going to use over strength factors. And when we look at the reinforcement, we see we have a rectangular pattern of four number four bars with confinement ties of number fours at 12. Well, for a 12 inch square column, four number fours is pretty small. So let's change that. So clicking on the reinforcement dialog button, I get the following dialog. And our current bar count is four. We have a choice of using a rectangular round bar pattern. I'm going to switch the four number fours and make them four number eight, something more reasonable for this pattern. We'll leave the confinement ties at fours at 12. When I select OK, we see that we're going to do some new design checks. It says working on design over here in the project status. And when that's complete, we see the pure capacity now has gone from a fail state to a, a unity check value of 0.7. If I click on this, in the project status, we switch to the text reports and we, we're seeing a report view where we have peer designed information regarding the check. And we see for the axial check, we're using ACI 22.42 as the reference with a capacity and demand value, leaving us a unity value of point, almost 0.5. Under combined check, we're seeing we have bending and axial going on, weak bending and axial for a unity value of 0.7. Let's switch back to the design view now and look at the piles. When I select the pile, we see that we're using the NDS LRFD specification for wood, and we have information regarding is it braced or not. Currently, we're assuming the pile is unbraced, meaning it's acting as a pin-pin column from tip at the bottom to the top of foundation. We can switch that to a continuously braced column if we'd like, assuming that the soil is going to provide lateral bracing. In this example, we're going to assume we have weak soil and therefore providing no lateral bracing, so we'll leave it as unbraced. We have other wood information regarding changing manual KZ and KY axial factors. The beam type behavior is simply supported. We have C factor information for wood design involving moisture condition, temperature range, and so on. So all of the wood design parameters can be specified in this location. We can do override factors if we'd like for the various C factors used in wood design, as well as some material overrides. Well, we're seeing these are failing, and if we click again on the project status, we go to the report view, and we're seeing that we have a pile and axial check capacity value of about 1.2 and for the NDS reference 3.63 we have a demand and capacity ratio shown and the various details involving the factor use, factors used in calculating that. In addition for piles we do a geotechnical check where the demand value of minus 30 kips or compression of 30 kips compares to the 40 KSI geotechnical capacity, giving us an acceptable unity of 0.75. Let's see where this geotechnical information is shown or, or entered. Going back to foundation design, when I select on a pile, 
we have the geotechnical capacity here at top, and we're seeing that specified as 40 kips. Because we have a failed pile and compression problem, is we're going to switch back to model and axial load. We're going to select all four piles by holding down the shift key, and we're going to change their size from a P6 or 6 diameter wood pile to a P8 or 8 inch diameter wood pile. When I do that, the results have to be recalculated as well as the design results. And when that's all done, I'm going to switch to the foundation design view. And now looking at my piles, we see they're all within an acceptable range of not or of being less than one. And we see that in the stability checks as well. So that's an example then of how you can use the peer and design check information and calculations in Visual Foundation.